Is uh, society happier today than it was a decade ago or two decades ago? I guess it really depends on the individuals. But if you say cumulatively, well, you do read of people always looking back at the good old days when we were carefree in the 80s and the 70s, where life was a bit slower, slower paced, um, a bit more carefree. But I think it's also with perspective of time. I think we, as we tend to look back, it always seems to look, things look differently. Um, we often always say that, you know, oh, but life was simpler, we have less material things, but we were happy. But then, again, today, a lot of the unhappiness was about material things as well. <laughs> Um, so to each his own. I think it's a, to me happiness is really an individual perspective. Uh, individuals must decide for themselves, and a lot of this has got to do with expectations. Uh, what government can do, and we should do, is to make sure that you have options. You provide, you increase the standard of living, uh, you provide options, uh, you ensure healthcare is there, education, your basics, housing is available, um, so that you have a range of options, and at every uh, income level, you have access to that, uh, regardless. Um, then you exercise your choices. Some say that, you know, why don't we slow down, smell the roses. I think individuals can do that. And again, you must make sure that if people choose to have a slower pace of life, and obviously perhaps earning a slightly lo lower income, can they still be able to provide reasonably well for their families, roof over their heads particularly. So that's why public housing is so important and to track uh, income levels to make sure it remains affordable. But even in that space, but if you prefer a faster pace of life, you can make that choice because I've got interesting dynamic jobs. But can we say that as a whole nation, let's slow down and smell the roses? I think that's difficult because you are, we are a very different nation from many other larger countries where you have resources, you have uh, buffers which we don't have. So we keep peddling and keeping ourselves relevant so that the economy is growing. Not double digit by any means, you're talking about reasonable, decent, matured economy growth, perhaps 2-3% if we can manage, so that there's sufficient verve and excitement, providing jobs, opportunities, income transfers, and then options and individuals choose. And what you want to make sure is that if you have uh, within that space that you have to make your choices, then you can fulfill your aspirations. And I think that's really important. So mobility, uh, areas, places for you to go around just to chill out and, and, and so on. I mean, we have a lot more of that today. Um, so in, in many senses, that the range of options have increased very significantly. But like I mentioned earlier, aspirations have also increased. And sometimes it's difficult to constantly meet those aspirations. But that's where I guess it comes back to fundamentals. It's about values. It's about our culture, our ethos, our soul as a nation. Now that's something that you can't construct, um, but it's something that you can tend to, uh, which is something I believe passionately in, is that in this whole realm of actually, my sense is that as you care for others, as you give, you receive, and it's a very powerful experience. And perhaps that's where we should think about going as well, building a society where there's a lot more compassion. And again, it's easy to talk about this, right? But how do you then break it down into something that you can do? So. To me, even before I came to MSF, there was something that I felt quite clearly, let's get my residents involved. I know you have expectations, you feel frustrated even though you might be living in a bungalow, um, but perhaps as we get involved in helping others and caring for others, perhaps we learn to be a bit more circumspect about our needs. And the joy comes in a different way, and as you begin to think about others, perhaps you also begin to adjust your own expectations and aspirations, and you find your own peace and happiness in different ways. But it's powerful because Ultimately, I think it can only come from doing things and a lot of it is about caring for others.